What's up, CyberHawks? So in today's video, I want to go ahead and show you guys the Microsoft Sentinel and the incidents uh, part of Microsoft Sentinel. So you guys can kind of have an idea on that. So go ahead and go to portal.azure.com. And if you don't see Microsoft Sentinel up there, you can just type Sentinel, should be the first one. And uh, go ahead and click on uh, whichever, I guess, lab group you're in or whichever group you're in. And we're going to be focusing on the incidents part of the uh, threat management tab. So let's go ahead and click on incidents and we'll go ahead and um, make that smaller there on the left side and we'll make this smaller. And uh, like one of the first things that you'll see um, when you open up your incidents, if you like actually have like attacks or incidents to actually uh, get logged um, or get logged would be something like this as you guys can see i have five um, open incidents one high and um, four mediums and um, just from this here it kind of gives you a breakdown uh, with the color coding with the red being high the well, orange for the medium and then here you can kind of get like the severity again the incident id um, like numbers you get the titles of each one um, you see a lot of custom because there's a lot of the custom ones that I created. Um, however, depending on what your network is, you may have ones that are like default or standard from Microsoft Sentinel, or you may have customized ones too. So we'll kind of go over that and the owner. Oh yeah, because I already signed myself this one earlier. That's why I'm the owner here, but usually it will be like unassigned for all of them. So uh, we'll go overhead and go over the um, custom malware so you guys can kind of see more in depth on this one. And I may do like another video on this, kind of just going more into detail. And when you open up the side tab and click on one, you get more details about that specific uh, incident. And as you guys can see from this one, it gives me the full name again, malware detected. Um, it gives me the entity that's getting, I guess, affected, which is the Windows VM which is uh, my Windows virtual machine, which is called Windows VM. So it's kind of easy for me to remember. But obviously, depending on how your network or your group network is set up, you'll probably have that actual machine's uh, information right there. You can also full the, um, view the full details of that too, but we will go to that next. Um, next, um, we have the analytics rule right here. This is one way you can look at it and again, Let's say you weren't exactly for sure what this like incident was. You can go to like analytics rule, for example, and hopefully your organization has what it is right here. Um, when malware is detected, but if not, and like you're not able to see somehow from like the name itself on the set rule logic, you should be able to usually get like an idea of what it is. And as you guys can see, this is all written, I believe, in KQL. And pretty much when the event uh, a log is saying Mark, uh, from Microsoft Windows Defender Operational, when you're getting the 116 or 117 um, event ID. And the um, 117, 116 is like malware detection, if I'm not mistaken, event ID. And you can always Google this. And yeah, look at that Microsoft Defender Antivirus event IDs and error codes malware action taken and the other one was uh 116 yeah malware um detected so kind of just giving you like an idea of how you could search for that you could just do a quick youtube or i mean google search and you usually find that let's go back again and also too um let's say you were at a company and like you were like you each person was kind of going through these and you're taking these tasks, taking these tickets. Um, I already assigned it to me already, but I can unassign the incident, for example, and like sign it to somebody else if I wanted to. Let me unassign it. And then, cause let's say I wanted to take it. So I can sign it to me, hit apply. And then you got a new active close. We'll be closing this out later. And let's say throughout this whole investigation, maybe I found it out that it, I found out that maybe we we coded that wrong or something and maybe that more of a medium or a low you can also change that whenever which i like and then uh lastly to the com um the comments and tags you can add tags here if you wanted to um just to make things easier and like okay this is a malware maybe your company may want you guys just to document malware on friday or xyz so then you can 
later on look at just the tags just dealing with just those um tags and then for comments let's say i just want to let everybody know that i created this created this um alert just testing out some things to let everybody know i created this alert just testing out some things don't worry and then i could just save that there and yeah anybody looking at this they'll be able to see uh, my comment there and i just clicked on the comment again <clears throat> it brought me to here we're gonna click on it one more time so we can see it in a bigger view and <clears throat> when you uh click on this click on the comment like a second time on um the actual investigation part or closer to the investigation part why are you looking at that um that attack uh, that possible malware detection that we just checked out you get like a full incident like activity log which i like too and kind of gives you an idea on like the time frame of exactly when the alert was created when the alert was changed uh changing of the tags which i just did owner changes it kind of gives you all of the info info there so you kind of just get a good uh good history of all of that and then my comment at the top so let's go ahead and delete that and let's go back all right so yeah we're back on this page so now let's go ahead and go to the view full details and that'll bring you up to the page that we uh, just saw again kind of give you a better view of this particular um, incident and um, as you guys can see on the side we got different uh, events alerts etc creation time last updated you can see all that info there again the analytics rule that we kind of just looked at where we can get an idea of you know what type of um what type of triggers um which are going to you know be affecting the um virtual machine for example for us to actually get that alert and um here like in the middle i like to again it kind of just giving you a visual on the timeline of things and you can click through each one again to get more details of each individual one when it started um i created these alerts like back to back so they all should be very um like dang near like the same time for the most part so this were back to back but again kind of giving me a sense or giving you guys a sense kind of what's going on and you can see the entities that were affected on this one it was just the windows virtual machine you can click on entities there too just to see those and that's the host uh, machine there and if you click on that too you can kind of get more info on that like what OS type it was. That one was a Windows machine, my private IP um, address. Uh, when the heart, when I was able to get my earliest heartbeat, 314 and the latest 325, kind of gives you all that info, location, which resource group it's in, which virtual network subnet is in. It gives you all that info too. So like, for example, if I'm looking at this and let's say I wasn't for sure, um, or let's say I wasn't sure maybe how big maybe things may have been affected by. Maybe I might want to look at other um, virtual machines within that same like resource group, for example. Kind of give me a, a uh, sense of how severe <laughs> or like how wide we're getting attacked. So again, you know, kind of just things kind of just to look at, uh, which I like too on your investigations on this. And also too at the bottom, we have similar incidents. So you kind of get like an idea of maybe some similar things that may be affecting uh, this machine or maybe other ones. So you kind of get an idea. Okay, so like I'm getting possible malware detection in the brute force attack. It kind of just giving me more um, information that I can use towards my investigation. So the last thing or last big thing I want to show you guys is the, um, I guess the investigation page. So on the bottom left side here, you see investigate and you go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna close this one down because I already opened this up earlier. So I'll show you guys that in a sec. And here you can have your, your top view investigation. And you got, you know, like the name that you currently have set up, who's it assigned to. I meant to assign it to myself again, but I unassigned it. Uh, so I can I can actually do that here, I they believe. Yeah, assign it to me, Eric. And then the time frame, etc. And here you can see the entity that's been affected and this alert. Uh, so like I look like we got malware detected here with this information. Click on the next one with this information. And again, kind of just giving you 
full details, time frames, etc. on this. And they do have slight system alert IDs, um, which are different, obviously, but kind of just to get a good sense of that, which I kind of like too. And again, kind of just gives you more of like a top view or top level of this. You can actually go into this further too, by going to like timeline and you can see in order which ones attacked you. So for this one, the first one that attacked me was this malware here or malware detected here. And we can like, you know, maybe jot down some information on this. And then the second one was here. We can like sift through this, you know, jot down some information there. Um, so let's say we did all of that and let's say we kind of just wanted some more info. So if you hover over um, the entity that's being affected, which is the yeah, Windows VM, we have it has a thing called related alerts. So if you click on related alerts, it brings this up, which is, I think is so cool. And you can actually move this around kind of like how gravity <laughs> plays around with it right here. But as you guys can see, we get even more details. And look at that six malware detected brute force attempt, more information, um, you know, so the severity, um, I believe, yeah, what time it started, what time it ended kind of, again, giving you a sense of kind of, um, which, how, uh, what's the correct term? I guess like how frequent, uh, maybe this attacks have been kind of going on, um, kind of maybe give you more of a sense of like how aggressive somebody is trying to actually attack you. And it's a good way to get like knowledge, which is always good in this field. And which I like about this too, even if you put like related um, events on, you can go back to timeline and it will also show you the timeline, including the new related events. So we see at 1008, we got a brute force attempt. And then we started getting other ones, maybe like an hour later, another brute force attempt, hour and a half, two hours, and then a ton of malware attacks. Um, so again, kind of to give you an idea, uh, depending on like the actual attack, this can be um, even better for you to be able to just to, like pinpoint maybe when somebody may have opened up something bad um, and you can just kind of just pinpoint things a lot, a lot easier, a lot faster, I believe. So again, that kind of just a breakdown of the investigation and um, <laughs> incidents version or section of Microsoft Sentinel kind of give you guys just a quick behind the scenes. I may make a video of me maybe like creating these events and connecting it to uh, my Microsoft Sentinel so that you guys can like play around with testing out different incidents on your side. Uh, but yeah, I kind of just want to show you guys just again behind the scenes, especially if you haven't um, haven't had the luxury of having any incidents show up on yours. You can kind of see what would happen or what would show up if you did and how to manipulate things. And lastly, too, I just wanted to show you guys how you can like close down uh, one of these tickets. Let me go back. We'll just go back all the way and go back to Microsoft Sentinel and go back to incidents here and here. OK, so when we're back here, okay, we got it assigned to me. Let's say I want to close this down and let's say I've I actually have been writing down notes and um, I actually was investigating the virtual machine and went inside. Everything checked out and it was a true positive. So I can put that there. If there's anything else you can put false positive, false, false or benign positive, etc. Let's say with a true positive, I can write down the information here. Um, machine blank, blank, blank. And then, you know, like the IP address, if I wanted to add that blank, 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 blank. And then you kind of just talk about what I saw here. And yeah, it actually was a uh, true positive, etc., etc. You can write all that down right there and then uh, just, just close it. Um, make sure it's on close and then just hit apply and it will close that down. And at the top here, we went from five open accidents to four um, open incidents. So yeah, kind of just again, quick little overview, um, top level overview of the incidents um, side of Microsoft Sentinel. Again, let me know if I should go over some of the other ones so you guys can kind of just get an idea of this. Microsoft Sentinel was cool, it's fun, and I think you guys will enjoy it a lot. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.